A possible solution to the pension crisis in Kentucky. Governor Matt Bevin says his plan will save the system, but how does this affect future state workers? Thanks for staying with us. 530, I'm Doug Profit. And I'm Kayla Moody in for Rachel Plaid. Bevin announced an outline of the plan yesterday, providing bullet points with the promise of more details in the next month. Tonight, WHS 11 Shay McAllister is talking with us. She sat down with finance experts to find out more about the true impact of what these changes would bring. Shay? Doug and Kayla, Bevan says nothing will change for current retirees or hazard duties employees like first responders, but future state and professionals like teachers won't have the same options they had before, and that's why the experts say they need to pay attention now. It's Bevan's promise to solve the pension crisis. Everybody wants it to be done. Everybody knows it needs to be done. It's easy to talk about doing it. And now he says it's time for action. Presenting a new plan in Frankfurt Wednesday, it's only an outline, but it makes one thing clear. If past future teachers and other state employees won't see the same pension plan they did before. If you go into a, a, a government plan, typically you think a pension is going to be provided for you, and that's what it's always been. New employees are going to now have to realize it's really up to them to get to put money into this plan and to make sure that they're going to have a retirement plan when they retire. Under the new plan, current employees will only pay into the former pension plan for 27 years, and then they move on to the new format, deciding on their contributions along the way. Future employees will start on the new plan, which functions much like the public sector's 401k. We're not going to have the government putting money into this plan like we've had in the past. So it's now it's going to be up to us. It's going to be on our, our shoulders again. And I think that overall, I think that's a better plan because now you're more in control and you can you can decide to put more in or maybe less in on years that you can't don't feel like you can afford it. Financial advisor Alan Mercurio says the plan is a sign of the times as many states have already moved over to a similar system. He believed it's a move that could help bring Kentucky out of the billions of dollars of debt. I think he's dealing with it in a, in a pretty good fashion for the folks that are involved in the plan. Um, is it the best fix? Probably not, but I don't know that you could come up with a better fix than what he's got. It's important to remember nothing is final until Bevin calls a special session for lawmakers to discuss the tough questions like how do they pay for this and then they vote to pass it. But experts say now is the time for those current and future state employees to be talking to their financial advisors to find out what plan is best for them. Shay McAllister, WHAS 11 News.